Hello fellas and welcome. I'm pretty sure some of you have seen my product review video about this Parkside Performance 3D laser level. Today I will present you another quite similar by characteristics little product, the Sigmund CMS01 3D laser level with app control. Why I'm saying little product? Well, take a look at the size difference between the Sigmund the Capro, another 3D laser level and the Parkside Performance. Of course, the size of the equipment highly relates to the battery integrated in it or outside of it. But nonetheless, we have to give credit to Sigmund for creating such small and handy 3D laser level. Some characteristics of the product, it has a self-leveling range of plus minus 4 degrees, a leveling accuracy of plus minus 1.5 millimeters at each 5 meters and a working distance of 30 meters. If the device is used with a laser receiver, the working distance can be extended up to 50 meters. It's powered by an integrated lithium-ion battery, 3.7 volts, 4 amps hour, and the charging port, as you can see, is using a standard USB-C connector. The drawback is there's no easy way to replace the battery, you have to disassemble the device. With a fully charged battery, Sigmund is giving up to 30 hours work time when the brightness setting is set on lowest, and up to 6 hours when the brightness setting is set on highest. The good thing is that the device can continue its work even when you're charging it. The bad is that if you need to work with it for more than 6 hours at the highest brightness level, you need to bring yourself a charging adapter and this way you lose some of the mobility. Before proceeding with my tests, I think it's time to show you the coolest feature of the device, the ability to control it using your smartphone and the Sigma application. The application is pretty simple and replaces the standard remote control some 3D laser levels are equipped with. The user can switch on and off each one of the laser lines can control the brightness level And of course, can switch on and off the pulse mode, so you can use the device with a laser receiver. I'm pretty sure some of you would say, why do I need such feature, such remote control, when I can simply go to the device and press a button. Of course you can do it, but you can also hand crank your petrol car, why do you need an electric starter? It's called progress guys, it's not always what we expect, it's not always the best, but this is how the world goes, so deal with it. I am sure you'll quickly appreciate the remote function of the device in situations where you have to switch between lines few times in a row. By the way, if I'm not terribly wrong, this is the very first 3D laser level with an app control. It's a pioneer in this area. Almost forgot to mention how the device is shipped. It comes with a really nice carry bag. Inside, the user can find a mini tripod. a magnetic L base, USB-C charging cable and a laser target plate. I think I should mention that the device comes with one quarter of the inch threaded hole for attaching tripods and the mini tripod provided within the package has an additional 5 eighths of an inch threaded hole for even bigger tripods. The laser is protected by some really thick layers of foam. There's no chance the device to be damaged if you accidentally drop the bag even from a relatively high altitude. Let's compare the packaging of Sigmon with the packaging of Parkside. Of course, Parkside comes with one way more versatile mounting clamp and space for additional battery and charger. However, I will give some credit to Sigmund on their minimalistic way of packing things. And speaking about the universal clamp, I am starting to think that Sigmund is targeting more the do-it-yourself users than the professional users. It's really hard to be a professional using only one small tripod. Of course, Parkside is not a professional tool either, but the universal clamp gives you a way more versatility. The distance is about 7 meters. From left to right we have Parkside, Capro and Sigmund. Even from here it's obvious that the laser beam of Sigmund is the brightest. From a little bit closer, 
increasing the distance to 14 and a half meters again Sigmund seems to be the brightest a closer look Parkside, Capro and Sigmund the distance is 32 meters I am outside it's dark again from left to right Parkside, Capro and Sigmund You can see that once again the Sigmund is the brightest. Maybe, just maybe, the thickness of the line on Sigmund is bigger. But looking from this angle, it's probably the same. I highly doubt anyone will be using the Sigmund or the Parkside or the Capro or any other budget laser level for distances beyond 30 meters. So I see no point in further tests. However, the tests so far have proven that Sigmund being the smallest is also the brightest from the laser levels here. Well, that's it guys. So much with this review. If you think it's useful, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Bye and see you soon.